Eric and I wrote Dreadlock Holiday uh, after we'd both come back from our separate holidays. Eric had been in uh, Barbados and I'd been in Jamaica. And we were talking about our experiences. I was walking down the street. I mean, the song originally was about, it's supposed to be about someone trying to emulate kind of West Indian cool, you know, trying to be like them, but failing miserably. I was staying at this really nice hotel and uh, got friendly with one of the guys that worked there. And we were talking about sports. And I said, uh, you know, do you like cricket? He said, no, I don't like it. I said, what do you mean? You don't like it? I was surprised, you know. He said, I don't like it, I love it. And I thought, oh, that's a good line. <laughs> I used to listen to Scar, um, like some people like Desmond Decker I, I loved. So it was always in, in our minds, that, that kind of music. And, and remember, 10CC was a, a band that did all sorts of music, country and western, country and eastern, you know, reggae, rock, heavy metal, you know, it was, we did whatever suited the song that we'd written. Some of it's fact, some of it's fiction. Um, and I, the, the verse about, um, he looked down at my sil silver chain and said, I'll give you one dollar. You know, it was a present from my mother. Well, it wasn't a present from my mother. It didn't even happen to me, but uh, Eric was on holiday with Justin Haywood. And they felt a bit uncomfortable with the people that they were with. And one guy said to them, sarcastically, I'll give you a dollar for that uh, chain. You know, the chain was obviously worth a lot of money. And uh, that found its way into the song as well. I started uh, in the music business as a songwriter in 1965. Um, I had these, this chord sequence. I wrote uh, a song called Look Through Any Window that we gave to a publisher and uh, he placed that with the Hollies and that was, that was a fantastic record, I loved that. So they said to me, have you got any more songs? I said, yes, I have. I've got this song called Bus Stop. And, uh, and I played it, I remember playing it to Graham Nash in the, in the toilet there because there was no other room that was quiet. And... Herman's Hermits, uh, that was a different story because my manager, Harvey, managed Herman's Hermits and um, I'd written uh, No Milk Today. I played it to Harvey, he said that'd be perfect for, for Herman's Hermits. No milk today, my love has gone away. The bottle stands forlorn, a symbol of the dawn. No milk today, it seems a common sight. But people passing by don't know the reason why. How could they know? A palace they have been behind the door where my love reigns as queen. No mail to them. NCC, in a way, was unlike any other band. We had four songwriters, four producers, four singers, four instrumentalists. It was difficult to, I think, for people to identify us, particularly because there were different vocalists. And also because we used to approach every song as if it was a separate band, in a way. I don't like cricket, no, no, 